Gentleman is recognized for two minutes. Thank the gentleman for yielding. I'm in disbelief over the ridiculously low spending levels proposed by the Republicans in the Agricultural Appropriations Bill. They slashed funding to 2001 levels, funding from over 20 years ago. That's a 41 percent cut, $10 billion, to the people that feed America, our farmers. I don't see how any member of Congress who represents rural America can show this much disrespect to their constituents, certainly no member from Wisconsin. Here's a few examples of what the bill does. It zeroes out the Dairy Business Inni Innovation Initiative completely from $25 million to nothing. That's assistance for new and growing dairy businesses that want to get products like milk and specialty cheeses to market. If you're an economically distressed farmer, of which unfortunately there are plenty, this strips assistance for 104,000 farm loan borrowers. If you're a farmer who uses the Farm Service Agency for things like loans or disaster relief, this bill cuts FSA in addition to conservation programs like EQUIP that help farmers improve their operations and output. If you get energy assistance as a farmer, good luck with that. REAP fund will be cut by over 500 million, making your energy costs go up in rural America. And if you farm and supply food through international food programs, you're really out of luck because they cut it by $1.2 billion, a 69% cut. With this level of cuts, I would assume this was a satire, a Saturday Night Live episode. But it's just another Tuesday night in the U.S. Congress where farmers apparently aren't valued by the House Republican majority. No one who claims to support rural America could write or vote for an agricultural funding bill this bad. No one. And I, for one, won't be supporting this kind of disrespect to the farmers in my district. I yield back.